Money Marvels from Museum on the Mound, the newest Bank of Scotland banknote. At Museum on the Mound, we have lots of wonderful banknotes. Old ones. And new ones. That's because we're housed in a bank. The Bank of Scotland head office in Edinburgh. You can see this building on every single Bank of Scotland banknote. And there are around 61 million of these in circulation. One of the banknotes you can see in the museum is this one. The oldest Scottish banknote to survive anywhere. The first Scottish banknotes were issued by Bank of Scotland in 1696, the year it opened for business. On 27th February 2020, our newest £20 note was released. The design features a portrait of Sir Walter Scott, the famous Scottish writer. How do you do? And our famous building. Marvellous. At the same time, Bank of England, Royal Bank of Scotland and Clydesdale Bank released their new £20 notes. Our newest note is very different from our earliest one. It's also quite different from the previous Bank of Scotland £20 note. So what's going on? Why all the change? You can probably guess. It's to do with a crime. Forgery or counterfeiting. From the earliest days, people tried to copy the notes and spend them. Despite harsh punishments, forgery continued. So banks made their notes more and more difficult to copy. What makes our new note so difficult to copy? Firstly, it's made from polymer, a type of thin and flexible plastic. All the new £20 notes are made from polymer rather than paper. And the £5 and £10 are too. Polymer allows for some of the most sophisticated security features to date. It's also cleaner than paper, stronger than paper, and the carbon footprint of a polymer fibre is 16% lower than a paper one. One of the features that makes polymer notes so difficult to copy is the clear windows. When banknote polymer is made, it's completely transparent like a giant roll of cling film, only not so clingy. It then passes through printing machines that add large areas of pale ink to both sides. Only the ink doesn't cover the whole sheet of plastic. Some is left clear, like the pools on this sample note. On our notes, the windows of the Bank of Scotland head office are clear. So clever! Our new £20 note also has a large clear window with some shiny foil on it. This is called a hologram. The hologram on our earlier note changed between the number 20 and the Bank of Scotland's logo. The new one shows the statue of the Goddess Victory. She stands on top of the dome on our building. The dome is shown above her on the note. The stars represent the northern lights. Now, see what happens when you tilt the note backwards and forwards. All the colours of the rainbow appear. Try copying that. Here's another shiny feature worth a look. Watch the pale purple band scroll up and down the big 20 when the note is tilted. Another new feature helps people with visual impairment to recognize the note. And there's more. You might need a magnifying glass or even a microscope to see some of these. Complicated patterns, tiny numbers, and minuscule letters, microtext. Forgers find this very difficult to copy. But maybe the most surprising feature of all can only be seen with ultraviolet light. Ready? Lights out. Ooh, three glowing features appear. Notice how the thistles light up and how the Bank of Scotland's logo appears from nowhere. On the back of the note, another thistle and the new Queensferry crossing glow brightly. Magic! 
All the Scottish banknotes have stunning UV features. So you can see a lot of ingenuity goes into making banknotes difficult to copy. Our new banknote really is a money marvel. Now, why not try designing your own banknote? Discovering the security features on all Scottish banknotes? Visiting our website for more ideas. Please do not try forging banknotes and spending them. <laughs> Thanks for watching.